Hi, uh, Martin Compton here, and I'd just like to welcome you all to Light Up a Life Online, uh, where we all come together to remember our loved ones who are sadly no longer with us. Um, we're very grateful that this year we can also have an in-person service at Westbourne Church, but the online service is there for people who want to take part from home. Um, just want to say a big thank you to the church uh, for hosting it as they do each year, and a massive thank you to the Cabo Garden Centre for generously donating the tree. And this year it's all about memories as our Gown Hospice celebrates 40 years of caring in the Inverclyde community. Um, so enjoy and I'll catch up with you at the end. Friends, we come at this time each in our own places, yet drawn together to remember. We come at this time each with our own thoughts, but yet held together by our memories. We come at this time, each with our own grief, yet united together by the love we have shared with all those precious people we are remembering, and by the compassion and care we have experienced in the midst of our grief and loss. We come at this time each with our own candles, yet trusting that each candle lit pricks the darkness and lets the light of peace and hope and love spread through our communities. And so I invite you to join me as we each light our candles. We light these candles to remember the people we have loved. We pause to remember their names, their faces, their voices and the times we shared. We light candles to remember those who lit up our lives and who remain in our hearts. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the light shines, for love refuses to be extinguished by despair. Resilience and hope cannot be quenched while the light of love burns steadily, fueled by courage and by compassion. Look for the light and there you will find love. So let us pray. God of peace, light and hope, we bring to you our prayers at this time. Prayers of thanks, of sorrow, of remembering. Hold all our prayers, all our thanks, all those we remember. Hold them all in your love and may we hold each other in our families, among our friends and in our communities, in love. May we hold each other in love, that each and every one may know we and all those we remember are precious to the, you. At this Advent, this Christmas, this special time, may our memories help us through until we come to celebrate the birth of the Christ child, Prince of Peace, Light of the World. Amen.
Hi everyone, it's Greg Taylor here from Celtic Football Club. I'm uh, sending a video to uh, congratulate um, the 40 years uh, that Argon Hospice has been going on now. An amazing anniversary. Um, we've got a big appeal this year called Light Up A Life. Um, we're aiming to raise as much as we can, as much awareness and as much money for the hospice. So um, if, if and where you're able to donate, it would be much appreciated and we're all very grateful to um, all the contributors who have helped us this far. Um, long may it continue and uh, thank you very much. Cheers. Is it possible to measure 40 years of hospice care? Do we count how many lives we've touched? How many memories we share? The compassion of our nurses who care for patients day and night, or the kindness of our doctors when loved ones lose their fight. The joy of those who've won their battle and live to fight another day in the comfort and security that we're never far away. Is it measured by the kindness of the folk of Inverclyde who've supported us for 40 years with generosity and pride. Hospice cares a journey no one needs to face alone with sensitivity, care and dignity. We'll help you conquer the unknown. If we add up all these blessings and your support when times are tough, to Inverclyde, Argyle Hospice equals 40 years of love. Whenever I see a Terry's old gold Easter egg, I think of my mother. And that's because each year my father used to buy just such an egg for her. The first year after my mother died, within just three months of her dying, I was in the supermarket just before Easter and I had my basket full of stuff and uh, I saw a Terry's old gold Easter egg. And I just had to go out of the shop. I put the basket down and I just went out because I couldn't cope. Small things like that can bring back memories of our loved ones. Initially, they can be painful. And maybe it takes a few years or many years before we can smile at the sight of such a thing again. My prayer for you is that those memories which mean so much to you about your loved ones will soon bring a smile to your face.
Hi, I'm Frances Stoner and I'm the Director of Care here at Argyran Hospice. I'd like to welcome you all tonight to our virtual online Light Up A Light service. On behalf of all the nurses, the doctors and all of the staff here at the hospice, I'd like to say a very big thank you for all the support you've given us throughout the pandemic. And I'd really like to say that tonight is really all about memories. It's about a space for you to take time to think about your loved ones and what they meant to you. And while you're thinking about your loved ones, I'd like our staff to think about you and about all the help you've given us and to remember how important you are to our hospice. So have a lovely evening and thank you all again from everyone at our given hospice.
Hey, so I hope you all enjoyed the service. Um, just to add my wee bit on, uh, a lot of you all know that I'm the patron of the hospice and it's something I'm very proud to be. Um, and a few of you might have been to our fundraiser nights over the last couple of years. We've had some right good nights and raised a few quid, uh, which has been lovely. But it, it all started for me um, when the hospice looked after my Uncle Joe um, in his final days. Um, and apart from the professionalism, um, the one thing that really, really stuck with me was just the empathy um, and the care that the staff gave to, to my, my grandfather and, and my mum and my aunt. You know, I think a lot of you who probably went through similar things, um, if you're involved with the hospice, that these these things um, take time um, and, and they can be very slow and very painful, obviously, none more so than the people uh, who are actually going through it. but. But also to the families, you know, it's, it, it can be a tough, tough time and it can be um, seeing the toll that was taken on on my grandfather especially, you know, watching his, his son ebb away and, and, and his, my mum my and my aunt, you know, watching their brother go. But just the empathy and, and the love and the care and that the staff gave is something that always stuck with me because you're talking with people who, who deal with death and illness on a daily basis is, is their job and to still have that and still sort of have that care about you and not become cold um, to what's going on around you um, astounded me um, and that's when I decided to get more involved with the hospice as I could you know um, so just a big thank you to the staff a big thank you to all the supporters um, who's helped out over the last 40 years and here's to the next 40 all best